Sugar, sugar! Okay, Armstrong versus Pantani versus Garen Thomas. Who would be faster? I can guarantee you that Garen Thomas would smoke, smoke Lance, and he would smoke uh, Pantani. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And I'll show you exactly why. I'll show the numbers. I'll show the stats. All right. So here you have Lance Armstrong. Look how slow they're going, really. I mean, compare them to today. How fast today they, they ride on some of these climbs? I mean, it's, you know, it's sort of, it is quite interesting. It is quite interesting. All right, so here we have here Rummiger. This is the time up the Madone. This is the testing ground for professional cyclists, all right? If you're anyone who's anyone, you do a time at the Madone. Rummiger used to have the record 31.30. Then Lance did a 30.47. Froome did a 30.09. And Port did a 29.40. So we know that Port, even Richie Port uh, is faster than Froome up a climb in terms of pure climbing ability. Uh, but we know that Froome and Port are both faster than Lance. All right? So Garen Thomas is even faster still, as you saw in this year's Tour de France, Garen Thomas uh, dropping Chris Froome. So we are seeing today's generation of riders faster, way faster than Lance, who was Lance was faster than Pantani. When did Pantani ever beat Lance up a climb? except for the time the Lance gifted Pantani wins. So, Garen Thomas would smoke Pantani, would smoke Pantani. Now, some people might be quick to go, oh, but what about up out the west, the times aren't as fast? It's like, well, you can't compare racing times to racing times because conditions are different. There might be rain, there might be sun, it might be hotter, it might be colder. Maybe they smashed every single climb on the way there. You know, so the riders these days, the racing's harder because they hold the watts for longer. You know, they, they hold the watts versus just what race in the last climb. They go hard every climb and hold that average watt right up there. So that causes the last climb of the day to be slower. But what we do know is that Richie Poor is faster than Lance Armstrong in training. He's faster than Lance Armstrong. And a training climb is the most objective because there's no drafting. You know, the wind conditions, the weather conditions are going to be pretty similar, especially for the Madone, which is a pretty shorter climb. So the fact that Richie Port can beat Lance Armstrong, it, it says a lot. That how fast these guys are going today. So Pantani, you know, in the hurt box. Look at Lance, in this race, Lance is waiting for him. You know, Lance is waiting for him. So Pantani wouldn't have nothing on Geron Thomas. Wouldn't have nothing on Geron Thomas. You know, and we see that even today in the, these these colder Lamadone times that Port beats Armstrong, Richie uh, Chris Froome uh, winning Tour de France. We're seeing. Garen Thomas here, beating Chris Froome. You know, so we've got Garen Thomas is the new Pantani, the new Lance in one, and the new Miguel and Durain. Even Garen Thomas would beat big. If, if it was the Tour de France today and it had Big Mig 1992 version, Big Mig 99 version Lance, and a 98 version, 97, 98 version Pantani, Garen Thomas would still beat him. You know? He'd still beat him. One, because he knows how to spin. He's got that cadence going on. You know, he's got that cadence there. So Pantani didn't have, didn't have that cadence. Uh, needed Ulrich. So, Garen Thomas also fast and oh, look at this sprint. Look at the surge he's got. You know, it's pretty impressive. This is in Adelaide. This is in Adelaide. Lance also rode in Adelaide. I rode with Lance. I rode with Garen Thomas. I've ridden with Contador, Froome. They're all pretty approachable dudes. Garen Thomas very approachable. Very approachable. Same Big T, Tom De Molin, very approachable. Oh, they will know my YouTube, my YouTube, my YouTube antics. But uh, yeah. So Garen Thomas would definitely flog Lance Armstrong. Would flog Pantani. You know, there's no doubt about it. Garen Thomas would flog Richie Port, who flogs Lance. Lance flogs Pantani. Chris Froome flogs them all as well. But then Garen Thomas flogged Chris Froome this year. So, you know, Port, uh, Froome, Garen Thomas, very similar level. Chris Froome has that incredible emotional stability, being able to deal with the hate. It's imagine a lot of hate trying to win a Tour de France and having all these people spitting on you and throwing piss at you. It's pretty, pretty impressive. I'm not sure many riders can handle that. Uh, level of social disapproval. So good on Chris Froome for doing so well. And he won the Giro early in the year. So Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Here's Gary Thomas here. All that high cadence spinning. 
taking it easy in the wet thing. This is the Glasgow Commonwealth Games, 2014, is it? And, you know, so look at, yeah, look at him, like, Lance putting time into everyone else behind. And this is, you know, <laughs> races would, would race differently back then. They were raced differently. Lance had control over the peloton. Now there's less control. You ask any pro rider, there's less control over the peloton. So they race it faster, overall the speeds, the climbs, etc. But the last climb of the day is a little bit, maybe a little bit slower than back in the 90s because, you know, because they went hard in the first few climbs. You know, so there's, there's less glycogen left over to go, you know, extra crazy, crazy. So you can't compare outdoors time today to 20 years ago because things are raced differently. Tactics, weather, tires, bikes are lighter, things like that. So what you can compare though is Richie Port, Chris Froome, time on the cold and Madone against Lance. Lance had a super light cup bike, Romaga not so, but Lance had a super light bike, so did Port, so did Froome, and they still flog Lance. So there you go. Lance, uh, Pantani versus Garrett. Garrett will win every time, every time. Carbs, carb the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up. Corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.